Creating a basic chart in Crystal Reports is pretty straightforward. The dialog box gives us control of the main parts, and in most cases all we have to do is have the report data laid out so the chart expert has info to work with. To start, we've set up a report to work with here. A summary report often benefits from charting the data, so that's what we're using. We're in preview first to see our data, but we'll go to design view in a sec as it's easier to place and set the basic structure of the chart there for starters. We can see how many orders were shipped during 2007, both by month and for the year. What we want to do is chart the numbers to make it easier to see trends and such at a glance. One of the key things to understand, I'll go ahead and jump into design view here, is where we put the chart will matter. If the chart goes into the report header or footer, we see it just once for the entire set of report data. But if it goes into the group header or footer, it shows for each group, say for each month as here. We wouldn't want it in the details section because we'd see it almost 400 times. The number of records down there at the bottom in the uh, status bar tells us that. Normally the program won't allow that anyway, so it's not a problem. So I've made sure that my report title is off to the one side and what we're going to do now is go up to the insert menu and tell it we want to go ahead and insert a chart. The gold box that appears, the so-called selection box, asks us where do you want to put it. We maneuver so we're up here in the report header and we give a click. The report header is made taller to accommodate it and the dummy or sample chart shows up. Since we didn't have any other fields to count or sum up, like order totals or freight charges, the chart worked with the count of order IDs automatically. Otherwise, we'd have to select the field we wanted to use somewhere along the way. And we can do this in the Chart Expert box if we have to. But once the chart is in place, we can do most of the work in preview if we like to see how each change affects the chart layout. So I'll go ahead and click on Preview over here now, and our regular chart shows up. There are almost always a few things we would want to do, like fine-tuning the title, the axis labels, deciding if we need a couple of other elements, thinking about the chart type. So usually the first thing will be the title. I'll go into the chart here, you can right-click just inside the edge of the chart, and that lets us use the pop-up menu to get to the Chart Expert dialog box. Once we're in there, the text tab is where we need to go to change things like the title. So now what I do is uncheck the auto text mark for the title. I can drag over what's there. And I could put in something like um, orders shipped by month. Then for the group title and data title, uh, let's see, could turn off that check mark, change the group title to be maybe just month, and the data title down here could be something like number of orders. We want to make sure that we label everything, but keep it simple, and we try not to uh, get too redundant because the report title already gives us some of the information we're looking at here. If we OK out of the box then, you can see that the various labels around the edges have been changed and go right back in and chart expert once more and make a couple of other changes. One thing that's kind of neat, one thing that's uh, kind of helpful, we can go to the axes tab up here, the third tab of the bunch, and we can tell the program that we want to turn the auto range feature here off. Why? Because we can then change the vertical on the chart. We can set the minimum number here say to 25, which is a little bit below the shortest column. Change the max to 40, which is a little bit above the tallest column. And then for the number of divisions, we can go down here, set it to manual, and make it, in our case, for reasons you'll see, just two. And when I OK out of the box this time, what we've managed to do is to exaggerate the vertical scale a bit. Helps make the chart simpler, easier to read, a little less confusing. And we notice also that the legend isn't really needed because the information in it is already visible at the bottom. So again, right-click, Chart Expert, 
and we can just zip over to the options and turn off Show Legend. One last thing, just a touch of pizzazz maybe, we can go to the Type tab, which is the type of chart. We'll still go with the side-by-side -side vertical bar, but I'll go ahead and turn on the Use Depth Effect, which is kind of neat. Gives it that 3D look. And when I OK out for the last time, we can see that the chart is indeed simplified. And if you want to aim for a little drama, a little bit of jazzier effect, the depth effect does help. This is by no means all we can do to create and fine-tune a chart in Crystal Reports, but it gives us an idea of what's possible and shows us that it's not too hard to create a good one quickly.